because now white does have the option to actually pick up that pawn on a6 bishop takes a6 and if black was to swing with the rook to a8 you can fall back with the bishop to c4 trade on c4 and the d4 pawn is hanging it looks like the kind of moment where in fact Jan Napomnesi can be up an extra pawn bishop e6 where is the compensation for this a6 pawn now you don't have d5 ideas again that rook on b8 under fire with that bishop on f4 i'm i'm shocked if he takes that pawn it might be the best move i'm just shocked if he does it because uh, i mean it feels like the bishop is just bad there and if forced to retreat what black will somehow pick up the e4 pawn and maybe it's not the case but intuitively, I, I would I wasn't even looking at that move. I mean, I know that it's like it's a free pawn and everything, but I really was not looking at that option as even like a legal move. Uh, but that's probably just because I. Um, Abby, that hurt. You make me feel like such no, a bad player right no, now. I was, that I was would really to, hurt because no, no, I feel like that would be the first move that I would go for. No, I was going to say that it's actually a good move. So this is like uh, this is a case where I should be considering the move, and and I'm actually sure that. And you're correct that bishop a6 is the critical move but something in me just doesn't want to play it well i think and... I, it's a stylistic choice right some people want extra pawns which is fine other people want the positional uh triumphs in the position right if you take take i'm guessing fabi you still want your e5 idea is that what you're going for yeah yeah Whoa. i do and he he is with fabi super grandmaster chess doesn't consider bishop a6 plays the move rookie one you were saying it's a stylistic choice robert maybe it's a strength choice bishop a6 just intuitively feels like a move that you don't want to make with that bishop on a6 and having to double up the pawns in case there's a trade a future trade on c4 